Welcome to Will It Build, the series where I take your builds from my YouTube comments and Discord server and put them to the test to see if they are the real deal. If it's solid, then I'll gift you 1,000 silver. And if it's really something special, you'll be featured in a dedicated build video for your submitted build. So comment yours below so we can answer the question, Will It Build? We've got Will It Build episode 16. This one is a warlock setup proposed by Chef4848 with some admittedly interesting formatting in the post. They are recommending a warlock void build consisting of nothing manacles as the premier exotic. I've actually got a pair right here. So we're already good to go in that department. I do got to infuse them. So upgrade it so we can fit all our mods in there. And for those who uh, aren't aware, nothing manacles have the scatter charge exotic armor perk you gain an additional scatter grenade charge enables tracking for scatter grenade projectiles so i don't want to get ahead of myself here but i'm assuming scatter grenade which i actually already have equipped here in terms of fragments they are recommending the echoes of expulsion instability persistence and undermining so we already have undermining right there we are going to want instability as well which i don't recall what that does actually but um defeating targets with grenades grants volatile rounds to your void weapons okay makes sense to me so we're probably going to want to look at some void weapons here for this build also got persistence and expulsion so persistence definitely one of my favorite ones as an invis hunter user void buffs applied to you such as invisibility over shield and what i'm assuming is going to be really important here for this build devour have increased duration specifically for devour i believe it takes the cap from 10 seconds up to 15 and it gives you actually an extra seven seconds of devour for every kill as opposed to five if you do not have echo persistence on it was expulsion if i recall correctly which means that void ability final blows cause targets to explode which i'm assuming we're going to be getting tons of void ability final blows with these scatter grenades so works for me uh, in terms of aspects we have got child of the old gods right here where if we cast rift we get a void soul we'll float around and weaken a bunch of enemies and of course give us ways to refund a bunch of ability energy when a target's being drained and whatnot and then we are also going with Feed the Void, where defeating a target with the Void ability activates Devour. And ever since the most recent patch that just hit, this is now the only way to get pre-nerf Devour values. Nowadays, Devour just gives you 100 HP for kills, whereas if you're running it through the Feed the Void aspect, you actually get a better version of Devour that will do its pre-nerf values where it fully restores your entire HP bar, no matter how weak you are for every single kill. Really good way to maintain old Devour through this build. I like that a lot. In terms of weapons, they're recommending Conditional Finality, which I don't think I've gotten the pleasure of using that in a build yet so very cool i'm wondering what alternatives are going to be good for this if you're an individual who doesn't raid very often and doesn't have access to raid exotics or maybe you just have bad rng so as we get using the build i'll be sure to make a recommendation later in the video additionally as we get later into the video i want to give away an emblem draconis tetrachroma one specifically i'm going to talk more about how you can enter to win that emblem through this giveaway that we're doing in this video so definitely make sure you stick around to not only hear about that but to also hear about my alternate exotic recommendation for you non-raiders. We have got any void legendary weapon and any void power weapon. My favorite void legendary weapon in the entire world is Funnel Web. Anyone who played during Witch Queen and also anyone who played way back in the day when Recluse existed uh, probably knows how much how awesome Funnel Web is. I hold that weapon very close to my heart. It reminds me of a good old OG Recluse, one of the strongest weapons in the game. So happy to have a build that utilizes it. And then they said any void heavy weapon. I could go with my red herring rocket launcher crafted with field prep and frenzy has a whole lot of ammo and does decent damage i might slot my commemoration in though as well i think i'll bring both with me um just so we have two different options that we can take a look at while we're playing around with this build as far as armor mods go the helmet is ashes to assets times two and one harmonic siphon which makes perfect sense to me because this is going to be a very grenade kill centric build so we'll get double ashes to assets on along with harmonic siphon that does mean i have to take this resilience mod off let's swap it for a discipline mod since this does seem to be a grenade focused build that'll open up that slot for us as far as the gloves go we have got momentum transfer fastball and grenade kickstart so we'll go, we already have a grenade kickstart arm right there We'll throw on the Momentum Transfer, which grants reduced melee cooldown when causing damage with the grenade. And I know they recommend Fastball, but I personally really don't like Fastball. And in, in my opinion, Fastball is kind of a preference perk where if you have the muscle memory 
of grenade placement with fastball, then you're probably an individual that uses fastball a lot. But me personally, I never liked having to rely on having fastball in my build to like be able to have a good handle on where my grenade goes. So I actually never use it because if I did put it on, it would completely mess with my, you know, grenade throwing abilities because like my my trajectory would be all off. So I'm actually gonna opt into not going with fastball. Instead, I think I might run, uh, maybe, maybe we'll just go with second grenade kickstart and see what happens. That allows me to put a minor discipline mod on here. Maybe I'm thinking maybe a second grenade kickstart will allow me to have even more grenade uptime and spam those more often. Alternatively, you could maybe even go with like a harmonic loader to get some void reloads, uh, you know, reload your funnel web more quickly, reload your void heavy weapon more quickly. I'm not sure, we'll see about that. Um, as far as the chest piece goes, they're recommending emergency reinforcement, which is actually a charged with light uh, armor mod. However, right out the gate, before I even equip this and give it a try, I'm gonna recommend that y'all do not do this and here's why a lot of people don't know this and i know that emergency reinforcement is actually a pretty bad mod because upon reaching critical health while at three or more armor charges you gain 10 percent damage resistance 10 percent, really we're going to sacrifice all three of our armor charges that we could be using for grenade kickstart to get 10 percent damage resistance you're much better off just going into something like a resistance mod, which costs one to three energy a piece and grant 15% damage resistance each. So I'd always recommend just having 15% damage resistance towards all three elements permanently, as opposed to sometimes at the cost of three armor charge stacks, having, you know, only 10% damage resistance. Alternatively, you could go something like two of the elemental ones, um, you may be an arc and then a harmonic resistance and then go with charge up so you have significantly more armor charge stacks to fuel your grenade kickstarts. Something to consider. Looks like they're recommending legs, innervation times two, and one void weapon surge. Class item, we've got double bomber and powerful attraction. So we'll go ahead and throw those on. Probably gonna change these up as well. Like I said, we'll get more into my changes as we go into the video. To start, I just wanna use what they are recommending that we use. We're gonna hop into the coil, one of the best activities for testing this out, because of course, like I've said in previous episodes, we get to fight squishy enemies. We get to fight tanky enemies at very high power levels we get to fight ad dense encounters we get to fight bosses we get to see the every single aspect of the build imaginable um damage increased by 25 percent from all weapons and abilities while airborne um hmm i guess i'll go with that why not so i'm assuming it's just going to be a lot of grenade throwing because boom there we get devour since we're getting an ability kill that's through feed the void and then we're just going to spray all of these enemies. And throw the sky grenade. And then those guys are going to explode every time we kill them with a scatter grenade, thanks to our fragment, the Echo of Expulsion, which is really, really solid. Looks like we're running out of Devour, but I'm not really concerned about that because if I want to get Devour back, all I have to do is, you know, do a quick little boop, and uh, boom, got Devour again. Go ahead and shoot this guy down. I wonder... I feel like this build would feel awesome with a demolitionist void weapon. I'm not actually sure if there's uh, what primary ammo void weapons there are with demolitionist. Um, if you guys have one that you recommend, maybe throw it in the comments below. That would be really cool. In fact, let's talk about that emblem giveaway right now that I was referencing earlier in the video. So like I said, we're giving away a Draconis Tetrachroma emblem through this video to enter all i want you guys to do is comment down below what void primary ammo weapon you think would be really good with this build if you comment that down below you're entered for the emblem giveaway and i will pick one of you and respond to you on my youtube account you'll see it'll say MacDix with a little check mark next to it uh, I will not respond to you on a different account so don't fall for any scams but uh yeah comment below let me know what's void primary ammo weapon you think would be really really good for this build and uh, also make sure that you like the video and are subscribed to the channel i'm noticing a couple of issues already one being that if you notice i've got armor charge stacks right now which means that i'm getting additional uh additional void weapon damage which is great you know i'm not complaining about that but if I throw my grenade, which of course I want to be throwing my grenade a lot with this build, all of my armor charge stacks go away and I lose my 
weapon damage buff because grenade kickstart is going to always consume all of my armor charge stacks. And for you seasoned build crafters out there, it's actually cooking in the adequate department, I must say. Um, but anyway, that, whoa. Hold up, let's, let's see how, uh, oh my God. Bye. So let, let's, while BH71 joins back, let's, uh, let, let, let's fix this up. For those of you who are seasoned build crafters and who have been watching the channel for a while, you probably know that it's basically a big no-no to ever mix yellow armor charge mods and blue armor charge mods. Because the problem is when you have the yellow armor charge mods that are based on, you know, doing a specific thing to activate them, they completely nuke all of your armor charges, which kind of hurts it's it's like you hurting yourself because then you're getting rid of all your blue armor charge benefits to me yellow armor charge ones the grenade kickstarts right here are the key to this build and these are the ones that we really really want to keep so i'm gonna actually keep these two and get rid of the void weapon search what i'm going to replace it with is stacks on stacks so that we get additional armor charge stacks every time we pick up an orb of power to further play into the grenade kickstart and so we can make even more orbs I'm going to swap out the momentum transfer for a copy of firepower so that every single time we throw a grenade, not only do we get a ton of it back through grenade kickstart and all the armor charge stacks that we're going to have through stacks on stacks, but we're also going to make an orb with that grenade kill to get even more armor charge stacks for our next grenade that we throw to continue that loop with grenade kickstart. That's the modification we're going to make right now. Um, we'll look to make further modifications potentially as we go on. Let's see how we're liking this little change. So boom, gonna get an orb right there. Love that, which means I have two armor charge stacks from picking up that one orb, thanks to stacks on stacks. And if you have two armor charge stacks plus two copies of grenade kickstart, I think you get like a third or half of your grenade back when you throw it or something crazy like that. Yes, that is a great point as well, that the double innervation that we have on our boots too will give us even more grenade energy because not only are we gonna get grenade energy in the future for picking up the orb because it's giving us armor charge stacks for when we next throw our grenade but it's also just giving us grenade energy right then and there when we pick up the orb because of innervation oh whoa i made like three orbs there and i'm not exactly sure how can i throw a grenade while i'm holding this no i can't but i can drop it real quick toss a grenade it'll kill literally every single enemy because the echo of expulsion is just going to keep doing a bunch of aoe damage i'm now realizing too they never recommended a super so I'm going to have to test out the different supers and see which one I like a little bit better. I don't know if it's still the case, but when I tested out Void Warlock supers many, many moons ago, it was actually, I found the case that while Cataclysm had more upfront damage, which is the Slova Bomb, the one that like will explode and then send out a bunch of like smaller orbs, Vortex Nova actually ended up doing the same amount of damage over a certain period of time because of the leftover Vortex that continues doing damage over time. And my problem with Slova Bomb has always been that it not only blocks all of your teammate shots going towards the boss, which is really annoying for DPS phases, but it can also get shot out of the air by enemies and get exploded before it even makes its way to them. So typically, I actually always like Vortex over Cataclysm or the Slova Bomb, because I can just, you know, boom, goes fast, hits him right away, and just stays there and just does a whole lot of damage because it just sits there and cooks him. Now we'll look to pick up another perk. And while we're picking up another perk, I do want to take just a brief moment to say, I've noticed that a ton of y'all have been saying some very nice things about my mustache. Thank you. And I'm not 100% sure what artifact mods you could put on that would help. I mean, I think Wished into Bean would help because that's just a general one while your super is nearly fully charged. Ability final blows spawn orbs of power, which is actually awesome for this because uh, you're this is pretty much all ability final blows. Both a blessing and a curse, right? One, it means you're not really taking too much advantage of seasonal mods, but at the same time, it also means that this build is not reliant on those artifact mods whatsoever in any capacity, which means that even after the season is over, albeit that is seven months from now, um, this build still works 100% perfectly fine. But let's try it again. So I'm currently at 75% super. Let's throw a little grenade. Uh, I only made one right there. Let's throw another. Uh, I made... Oh, there's three. So maybe when you're at like 75%, 80% super, 
you'll start you'll you'll start spawning triple orbs. 85%? Okay. Um, something I've noticed that we haven't been taking advantage of whatsoever here is we're not using our class ability nearly enough for the Child of the Old Gods, not only to weaken enemies, although we are kind of weakening enemies through the Echo of Undermining anyway, um, but more so because when the Child of the Old Gods is draining an enemy, you get class ability energy and grenade energy slowly refunded to you as it ticks. So definitely something we want to be taking advantage of here. Because of that, actually, now that I'm thinking about it, I'm not 100% sure. Eh, never mind, actually. Ignore me. So let me show you guys what I mean with the Child of the Old Gods. So if you look at my grenade icon right here, which, okay, never mind, it just magically refilled all the way. So let me let me get rid of both my grenades, and I'll shoot this. So the Child goes and drains something. Look at my grenade icon. Boom, boom. Oh, well, my teammates killed. Like, I see you didn't see it too much, but you, you get the idea. It slowly ticks up, which is really nice on tankier targets because you just shoot a bullet at a tankier target while your child of the old gods is on the field. It'll run over that tanky target and start siphoning them. And then as you're doing damage over time, firing rockets, shooting conditional finality, your grenade will just slowly be ticking up and up and up and up. So it'll be getting weakened as well. Yeah, this is fantastic for ad clear and it's honestly pretty good for damage as well just because you're always weakening enemies another one man i love devour so much i think devour is one of the most enjoyable and best feeling perks to have in the entire game i get a little rocket down okay perfect time to get the conditional boom well okay Let's see if i can lob a little grenade Okay, my grenade kind of missed, to be honest, but the tracking from Nothing Manacles uh, basically made it so that it went and hit anyway. So if you're bad at aiming your grenades like I am, then even more reason to use the build. Okay, let's freeze, ignite, and maybe another freeze. Get a grenade down, ignite, and boom, popped. So that I can go ahead and drop it down. And then we can shoot at this boss, put the Child of the Old Gods on him. That'll not only weaken the boss, but then it'll just passively drain the boss. So that I should always be getting my grenade ticks back slowly but surely. Um, uh, I'm noticing the, the regen is nothing to write home about, honestly, on Child of the Old Gods. Unlike that massive array of explosions right there, which definitely... Ooh, the damage is so good on this, actually. Uh, probably due to the echo of undermining weakening targets as the grenade hits them. Just does so much damage. Oh, guess who completely missed their Nova Bomb? It's me. Okay, we're gonna keep saucing this guy up with grenades and rockets. Maybe get a grenade down. Nice. Absolutely good. Grenade abilities recharge 500% faster. Here's the thing. While I would love to run this and it sounds super fun. I feel like at that point, it's them we're not really giving an accurate representation of how this build would look in other, in, in, in most instances of content. So I'm gonna hold off on purchasing this one until the next round, just so that we can have a little bit of like fun rampage mode. Boom. See, we threw two grenades right there. We basically already have one back. And there's one back. And boom, we have another one. You know, that guy got devour, so we're invincible for the most part. It is the Steel Series Arctis Pro Wireless. If you type exclamation mark headset, I think it pops up in the command, actually. Ooh! Absolutely melted. I want to switch over to Cataclysmic real fast, just to, you know get an accurate representation of both double bombs. I have a feeling though, I've, I'm gonna like Vortex a heck of a lot better. Um, earlier in the video, I said I did want to figure out a recommendation uh, that's not conditional finality. Um, I'm not gonna lie, so far using this build, the conditional finality, whilst really, really fun, is definitely not a necessary part of it. It's just a nice option to be able to freeze tankier targets and just put a little bit of burst damage on them. So. If you're looking to run this build and you don't have conditional finality, you can honestly use literally whatever primary weapon exotic you want to as well. So 
yeah, if you don't have conditional finality, don't don't feel like uh, you're gonna have to sit this one out. You'll be 100% fine. You can use literally whatever you want, as far as I can tell um, from using this so far. Boom, there's the Cataclysmic, and that one shot him just like the Vortex one shot the other guy, so uh, I guess they're both pretty good. Okay, time to see what Cataclysmic can really do. Cataclysmic? Cataclysm. Time to see what Cataclysm can really do. Um, all right, first things first, let's throw that to get Devour and put a chunk of damage on this guy. Then we'll summon this to get our trial with the old gods. Then just throw more grenades at this guy, and uh, yeah. That'll do it. Throw another. The grenades do so much damage. Keep in mind, we're on wave three right now, so I think we're 15 power under, I think is what you are at at wave three. Um, so yeah, this is a pretty pretty significant amount of damage, uh, despite only being at wave three. Just chuck this little Nova Bomb at him. Slowly track. Back up and at him. Let's get this grenade off so we can get the power. And then we can just crouch so we get our field prep increased reload speed. And then we can miss like nine rockets in a row. Ow, that's a lot of fire. Yeah, the uh, grenades just do so much damage. The grenade plus the rocket. Pack solid bunch. Okay, reload that real fast. Another grenade. And now we are out of grenade energy, which means we need to create some orbs for innervation. A little bit back. Looks like some guys over here. Let's get the rift down for Child of the Old Gods so we can start weakening them as well. Stasis freeze. Oh, perfect time to throw a grenade. Let's throw a second. And they're all dead. Every single one of them. That was fast. Let's get our grenade down. Oh, the grenades just, they chunk so hard. All right, let's chuck this to get Devour and just to clean up some of the odds a little bit. Get a nice solid chunk of damage right there. in the Well of Radiance so we get some bonus damage. And keep hucking grenades. Get a little conditional finality off for some ignitions. No! We got him though. Dealing void damage has a moderate chance to apply the suppressed debuff to targets. That sounds like it could be fun. Boom. And throw another. Pick up some orbs. Whoa! Didn't mean to jump right in the face of Wyvern. Although, I guess he got blown up anyway, so it doesn't matter that much. There's a lot of enemies over here. Hmm. I might want to make one final change to my mods. Because with how important armor charge is for this build, it's really important to be able to make as many orbs as humanly possible. So I think instead of going double bomber, I think it just makes way more sense to go reaper, just so you have yet another way to generate orbs. That allows you to generate them through your siphon mod, through weapon multi-kills. This allows you to generate them through grenade final blows with firepower, and allows you to generate them after class ability activation with reaper. Um, this guy is a mini boss tier enemy, so we can freeze him. I'm going to look for a tanky enemy and just Nova the hell out of him. Boom. Yeah, I just... I'm not, I'm not a fan of the Slova. I like the Vortex one. Just goes way faster. Hits the target immediately. Can't be shot out of the air. That's more my style, though. I think it's, honestly, personal preference which Nova bomb you use. Boom. Boom. Bye bye, Wyvern. And bye bye to all those dudes. And then we'll throw another one. Nova Bomb! Oh, Cataclysm is maybe a little. Oh my god, wait. Oh, that was satisfying. Cataclysm is maybe a little bit better for ad clear. I don't know, it's a tough choice. I think maybe 
If you want to go single target damage, maybe Vortex. If you want to go the Adclear Department, maybe Cataclysm. My one problem is just that the, the issue you run with Cataclysm is one, it blocks all of your teammates' shots, which is really, really annoying. And two, it can potentially just get blown up out of the air. And just for those who have been watching this entire time and want a quick little recap of where we're at for the final build, this is kind of where we're going with weapons. Although for your exotic, you can pretty much do anything. This is what we're going for our subclass loadout. And this is what we're going for our mod setup. Go ahead and take a screenshot. Make sure to hit the subscribe button down below while you do that too. All right, let's kill these dudes. So get their heads so we can use their heads to kill their boss. Just ran out of ammo, but here's a new Minotaur. Thanks for the head. Let's go grenade, rocket, reload, rocket, Nova bomb, another rocket, reload, rocket, grenade, rocket. And we have another grenade available, so we'll do another rocket, and we'll do a grenade. And then, yeah, we're just kinda, we're just kinda spamming everything. All right, let's get some ad clear going. Not too many, too many enemies here. Chill out in this well also. Do a little bit more damage to the boss. We get a couple more rockets in him. I want to try and get one more super off before his shield goes back up. I don't, I think I'm going to be just a little bit too far behind on my super energy. But it's okay, because I'll have it ready to use right away when we get the shield down a second time. With, with all the orbs and the armor charge stacks and devour as well, which for those who don't know, devour not only grants you a full heal on every kill, uh, but also grants you a bit of grenade energy on every kill. Give you more grenade energy uh, depending on if you kill higher to your enemy. So, so many ways to just always have your grenade up. You basically spam them without even looking. And thankfully for us, he's just going to sit inside of our Vortex Nova. Oh, cool. So conditional finality looks to break that little shield thing instantly. Oh, no. Let's get this down so we can get our Child of the Old Gods. That'll run to the boss and weaken it while we're shooting. And we need to get some of these enemies out of here. And if we kill a few of them, in fact, we'll get Devour so that we can run around and clear the room with grenades and restore our health every time we kill one of them. Just to make things a little bit safer in the arena. Does this thing do any decent damage? 605 a shot? Not really. <laughs> no! And I believe we should get platinum rewards, which I, I love that every single episode of Will of Build that we've done in the coil, we've gotten platinum rewards. I think it's just a testament as to how good you guys are at coming up with really, really strong and effective builds. So, um, but yeah, I mean, overall, love the core setup. Love the idea. Obviously, nothing manacle scatter grenades is uh, nothing mind blowingly new or innovative, um, but you know, just. The, the, the core of it is the nothing manacles, the scatter grenades, and the constant devour. Everything else that you dress up around it, the conditional finality, the funnel web, the red herring, all the volatile, all the mods and stuff like that that uh, goes around it. That's what really makes the build extremely strong and extremely viable in endgame contents. Will build? Absolutely, yes. Definitely wins a thousand silver. Make sure you submit your build in my Discord server in the Will of Build channel linked in the description below for a chance to be featured in one of these videos. Thank you so much for Tinax and BH for hopping along with me on this run of the coil. Thanks for hanging in the stream. Twitch.tv slash if you guys want to see it live. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, have a great day.